It's normal to get anxious at times, whether it's before a big test or for a job interview. But do you feel anxious often without knowing what's causing it? When you lead a busy life, you can come across many different factors that trigger those racing pulses. But the more you understand the common causes, the easier it is to manage them. Here are six situations that can give you anxiety. One, caffeine. Do you have a hard time starting the day without a cup of coffee? Or resort to energy drinks when you're pulling all-nighters? Caffeine can be incredibly addictive when we rely on it in order to function. But studies have shown that patients with social anxiety or panic disorder are more sensitive to caffeine. On the contrary, some patients with obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD can actually benefit from caffeine. We recommend that you pay close attention to how your body reacts the next time you have a caffeinated drink. If you feel more anxious, it's best to swap your Starbucks latte for a soothing cup of water. 2. Parties. This is especially common if you have social anxiety. What's more daunting than entering a crowded room full of strangers? Just the loud music and chaos can get your heart racing, and if you're self-conscious, you might worry about whether you're going to embarrass yourself or make a wrong first impression. Although you could avoid parties by using excuses to stay at home, there's only so many times that that actually works. What happens when your best friend hosts a wedding party or it's your cousin's 21st birthday party? One helpful tip is to show up early so you can adjust to the environment and get to know a few new faces before it becomes too overwhelming. 3. Public bathrooms. This is actually a social phobia. The term for it is called paruresis, or otherwise known as bashful bladder syndrome, BBS. People who grew up with overly critical parents, bullying, or a traumatic event involving the inability to urinate when they were supposed to may develop this phobia. Common treatment for it is graduated exposure therapy where the individual works with a behavioral therapist and gradually uses public bathrooms in difficult situations. 4. Public speaking. Ever experienced stage fright right before a competition, live performance, or presentation? Unfortunately, we can't graduate school without building our public speaking skills. And it doesn't stop there. In the work world, we are asked to speak in front of others whether it's for public events or conferences. To alleviate some of the anxiety, you can ask your friends and family to give you pep talks or treat yourself to a cute outfit because when you look good, you also feel good. On the day before your public performance, you can also try Amy Cuddy's power poses that she demonstrates in her TED Talk. It's totally worth checking out if you want to build self-confidence. It's one of my favorite TED Talks. 5. Eating in front of others. Having social anxiety isn't just about being nervous in front of new people. Sometimes, it also means being afraid to eat or drink in public. This can be especially difficult during holiday gatherings or dinner dates. Common concerns include looking unattractive while eating, spilling a drink, and choking in front of others. One helpful treatment method is cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, where you can train to replace your negative thoughts with rational thinking. And you know what? You probably look really cute when you eat. Shout out to all the wonderful mukbang videos on YouTube. 6. Stating your real opinions. Are you a people pleaser who worries about hurting other people's feelings or often agree with others just to avoid conflict? Social anxiety can cause the individual to hold back their honest opinions, whether it's not speaking up about a problem or not revealing your romantic feelings to your crush. People who have anxiety over these situations are usually afraid that they might come across harsh or fear that others will reject them. To reduce these stressful feelings, you can practice gathering your thoughts ahead of time, create discussions more than debates, and remember that people's memories are short anyway. Which of these situations make you anxious? Think you might have anxiety? Check out our video here to learn about the subtle signs. Thanks for watching!